hello friends uh, uh, i am satendra and today in this video lecture i will explain you one of the most important to uh, approximation which is the wkb approximation this approximation is widely used in uh, csir net physics questions to find out the energy eigen values or to find out the wave function okay so today we will discuss this method in, uh, in detail so uh, as a beginning uh, i will first prove this theorem and i will uh, so i will uh, i will explain you what is this method is okay so the wkb method is named behind is named because the scientist wang wenzel kramer and bullion has worked together Uh, behind the development of this method so there is one more scientist called jeffrey so sometimes this method is also called the wkb uh, sorry jwkb method okay so let's see what the method is so the wkb method is a technique for obtaining approximate solution to the time independent schrodinger wave equation in one dimension so it is important to find note that this method gives only the approximate solution to the time independent schrodinger equation in one dimension okay so you can see that the one dimensional schrodinger wave equation is written here okay so in this schrodinger wave equation this term is uh, denoted by the p which is uh, by the p square which is actually the p is equals to under root 2m e minus v which is, which is just the momentum of the particle okay and uh, this uh, in this equation m is the mass of the particle Psi x psi of x is the uh, wave function of the particle. V is the potential energy, and uh, E is the total energy of the particle. So according to the WKB method, uh, we want to solve this equation, and the solution of this equation is this. Okay, this is the solution of the one-dimensional Schrodinger wave equation according to the WKB method. So according to the WKB method, the solution of the above Schrodinger equation is so this is the solution of the uh, schrodinger wave equation okay it is very important for you to remember this uh, solution because this is frequently used in numericals okay okay so you can see that the here you are looking at the two solutions one is uh, the when you take this positive sign and one when you take the negative sign okay so there are two uh, solutions so the general uh, the general approximate solution is the linear combination of the two solutions okay so this is the one solution this is the other solution and the linear combination will be the general approximate solution okay so uh, right now you have seen that the solution of this schrodinger wave equation is this okay okay and this is the, this solution is the uh, is uh, given by the wkb method okay so now in the further uh, in this uh, in, in in the further in this lecture further i will prove this uh, solution that how this solution came okay okay so let's go to the proof so here the proof is here okay you can see that so this was the equation okay schrodinger wave equation here pi equals to phi of x v equals to v of x p equals to p of x okay so here you are um, this equation is in one dimension here we have made the substitution okay this p okay on the proper substitution this equation becomes like this okay now let us assume that the solution of uh, this equation is this okay so here we are unaware we or the quantity ax that is amplitude is unknown the phi quantity phi of x which is the phase is unknown okay so we will try to find out this a and phi and then we will put back in this equation 3 then we will get the approximate solution by the wkb method okay so here a is the amplitude phi is the phase okay now putting the value of the phi of the psi in equation 2 okay so uh, you can see that we now we will plug this value of psi in this equation okay at this and this point okay then the equation will become like this okay now 
here you can see that there is double differentiation so that can be written like this okay now in this equation i have solved this part like this okay so i have done a differentiation okay now uh, you if you look at the previous equation so if you look at the previous equation then you cannot directly solve this okay uh, in fact we have to use the chain rule and this part will just be don't will we will denote it by a prime okay so i have used the chain rule and i have put that differentiation of a with respect to x by a prime okay this is clear okay now on differentiating this much part you will get this okay this differentiation is represented by phi prime okay so this equation is clear now uh, what we have to do we have to distribute this operator to at each of these term so that is done here okay now uh, here you can see that there are three uh, functions of x that is a this and this so uh, th there is a specific rule for differentiating three different function okay so the rule is here okay so i will write the rule in short okay so if u v w are the functions of x if you want to differentiate this then that will be u differentiation of u v w plus differentiation of v the blue plus differentiation of u v so this is that rule which we have used here okay so i used that rule here okay okay and here um, then in this part again we have to differentiate that is differentiated in this part okay and then uh, this is as it is okay so the equation this equation is clear now now uh, uh, this is will be represented by a prime and this uh, we will you have to use the chain rule like this uh, this will i will put another uh, uh, another prime so this will become like this okay and then uh, this uh, for this you have to use the chain rule like this okay and then for this i will put another prime okay like this and this is as it is okay now we have to uh, again solve it okay so uh, uh, on solving this much part it will give me this and uh, then solving on uh, this part this will give me this okay and the uh, equation becomes like this okay now uh, i have rearranged the equation okay so you can see that rearranging is done here rearranging has been done here okay so this is how we i have rearranged okay now what i have did uh, i have just simplified it further okay rearranged i have further rearranged the term properly and i have removed the brackets also so you can see that this um, this term will come out from uh, these terms okay so i have taken it out okay and then it will be completely taken out and will be ignored okay it will be taken out completely and will can be equated to zero and the other part which is left like this will also be equated to zero in this uh, now i have uh, i have also done one more thing that this i square is equals to put equals to minus one so equation becomes like this okay now uh now uh, i what i did at this point i have rearranged this term here i have brought this to the left hand side so to the right hand side like this okay now i have further rearranged this term i have separated the real part and the imaginary part like this okay now in this step uh, i have compared the real and the imaginary part so on comparing this real part will become equals to this much part okay so this is here and the imaginary part will become like equals to zero so this is become like this okay on uh, further rearrangement the equation will become like this and this equation can be written like this the reason is that if you differentiate you will again get back this equation okay so uh, we cannot directly solve this equation we have to use some approximation that i will tell you so this equation can easily be solved by integrating both the sides so i have done the integration on both the side here this was just the zero so integration of zero is constant so let's see square is the constant okay so now 
um that will and here the integration and differentiation will neutralize each other and this will give on solving the value of a which is c over root under 5 prime okay now uh, that you have seen that this was the value of a and we still have to solve this this cannot be solved since this equation cannot be solved in general so here comes the approximation we assume that the amplitude a varies uh, slowly so that uh, the, this uh, uh, double differentiation of a is negligible and so this is um, uh, much uh, less than uh, 5 prime square and uh, p square over h naught square so uh, what um, we are saying in this uh, part is that uh, we have assumed that this amplitude a of x is varying very slowly with respect to x okay and this is the uh, basic approximation which is used in the uh, in the in the wkb method okay so uh, here a since a varies slowly with x that means the rate of change of a with respect to x uh, is very less so this quantity is very less and so that that will, will, will be just equals to zero or very neg much neg negligible okay so this will again be very much less okay now uh, you can see that since this is very less so this is almost zero so on dividing it by a then that will again also be very small which is um, will which will be very small in comparison to this and this so that means this is a uh, very much small that means equals to zero almost equals to zero so we can now see that from this equation we can write this equation and that will be equals to zero okay okay so then then solving this much part you get this and then on removing the square you will get this this is an important equation which is the equation number seven and you should uh, keep this equation in mind because we will just later we will need this equation okay and now uh, we have no we know that the phi prime is the differentiation of phi with respect to x so this will become like this so we can solve this equation for phi and that will on both integration integrating on both the sides of this equation we will go, reach to this equation and then in this equation this differentiation and this integration will neutralize each other and then we will so get this equation okay so this here we have uh, got the value of the phi which we wanted to take out which we wanted to uh, solve okay okay so now uh, i have already told you about the value of this about the value of phi prime which is uh, given in the equation number six so the value of phi prime was um, uh, equal to p over h naught okay so don't worry i have taken only the positive value okay so don't worry about it okay right now okay so now we will uh, what we will do we will plug this value of phi prime from equation number six in this equation this equation is equation number five on plugging the value in this equation this equation will become like uh, this okay and that will become like this now it is important to note that this is constant this is constant okay so these both are constant so the product of constant and constant that means the product uh, so the multiplication of a constant into constant will be constant so let's denote by c don't worry that this c and this is c is same don't worry at all about it just take it as a constant some constant okay so this equation can be written like this okay now what we will do we will plug the value of the phi from equation number 7 and the value of a from equation number 8 in equation number 3 okay so uh, the value of a is here the value of phi is here so we'll plug these all these value in the equation number 3 the equation number 3 is this which is nothing but the assumed solution of the one dimensional schrodinger wave equation so putting the value of this a and this phi with this is the amplitude this is the phase the equation become like this so this is this proves the wkb approximation method okay this proves the wkb approximation and thanks for watching this video okay if you have any doubt if you want to clarify some concept please let me know in the comment section so friends if you like this video please share with your friends um like and subscribe the video if you have not subscribed my channel okay friends thank you very much